Hey, today I'm going to show you how to export a runnable jar in Eclipse. Let's get started. Okay, let's say that you have created a Java Swing application inside Eclipse and you know how to run it. For example, I have prepared a very simple program which just outputs some label and you would like to run this program by double clicking on icon like any other application inside your operating system. So how you can do this? It's actually very simple. You just go to your project and then right click it and then select export and then select Java and then click runnable jar file and then click next. Under launch configuration, you should select configuration that is by default name as your class name dash name of your project. As for example, here I have my program dash my project because I have main method present in class named my program and this class is present inside project named my project. Under export destination, you should choose location of your jar file. So simply just click browse and then select the folder you want to export it to. And then finally, just name your jar file, for example, my program, and then click save. Under library handling, you should leave this default selection so that all the required libraries will be extracted to your jar. And finally, click finish. Now select your destination folder and then double click on your generated jar and you will see that your program runs successfully. If you want to change the icon of your program, you can't do it directly on this jar file, but you can use a simple workaround. And this is by creating a shortcut that points to your program and then changing the icon of this shortcut. Let me show you how. Just simply right click and then select new and then shortcut and then under location of the item click browse and then select the location of your jar file. Click OK, then next, then you can also rename your shortcut. I will leave it the same and then click finish and you will see that shortcut is generated. Now right click on your shortcut and then select properties and under shortcut tab, click on change icon. Here you can select any icon from your operating system or you can also create your custom icon. For this case, I will just select one of the available icons, for example, this and then click OK and then OK. And as you can see, the icon for this shortcut has changed. And that's it. If you now double click on the shortcut, the program will run the same as before. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video valuable, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.